Today, I'm gonna show you the most realistic way to generate the most incredible video game style images. And not only that, I'm also gonna show you an amazing prompt strategy. It will be able to generate prompts that create images for any video game specifically. You'll love what this prompt will do. And then you'll definitely wanna stick around because I'll also show you some hidden prompt tricks and tips and specific keywords to use that create video game style magic. Perfect. We'll come back to those specific prompt tips and tricks later in the video. But first, let me just give you a quick sample size of what these hidden prompt tricks can actually generate. So right now I'm in my mega prompts database. You can see that an image like this does look very realistic to the specific video game. Whether it's gonna be for more of like an 8-bit style for like a Mario, in addition to like a 3D render of Sonic the Hedgehog. Look at all of these amazing video game style prompts up here in these first two rows. You could see these are gonna be some of the ones that almost look too real to distinguish from the actual video game themselves. For the most amazing prompts databases, click the links in the description. So I show you these as quick examples to let you know that this prompt strategy really does work so well. So the reason why I showed you multiple prompt databases was because I wanted to show you that what I'm sharing today actually works across the board for most AI image tools. And so we'll come back to that in a few minutes and I'll share the specific prompts and those important keywords to get images that look just like that. So the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna simply come over here and select a specific prompt generator and then and the one we're gonna to use today is this one right here specifically. And it really is that simple. Go ahead and copy this prompt. And so any prompt that I share in any of my YouTube videos are always available, completely free to use via the links in the description. Okay, so now with my prompt copied, we're gonna head over into DeepSeek. And I just went ahead and pasted that whole entire prompt in. And it's very simple. I wouldn't even really consider it a prompt. It's basically just a simple need for help. But this little prompt right here really does turn DeepSeek into an amazing video game image strategist. But the one thing you do want to make sure you have turned on is down here in the actual chat box, you want to make sure you have deep think turned on. That's going to allow deep seeks reasoning to go into play. And look right away, it thought for 10 seconds. So it really did create some good details right here. Okay. The thing I love about this is because in my prompt, it doesn't give any specifics on what kind of video games I want. But the thing I love about the reasoning is that it does actually suggest specific video games right here. We have Cyberpunk and The Last of Us. So it's going to know that based on the game, it's going to provide those those concept artists and specific keywords that we're going to need to use, including the various types. We have RPG and FPS. And then perhaps the most impressive part is when you have deep think turned on, look at this right here. It's like it's talking about me behind my back. The user wants versatility in the prompts. They might need environments, characters, and items, including parameters like resolution, aspect ratio, and modifiers. And so it's basically guessing on what things I specifically might want. And another portion, they might not know about the importance of lighting and color palettes in realism. This is such a great detail. Now watch this. As we go down, it goes to work. It sums up what it wants. And then automatically, knowing that there are certain genres for video games, it takes the initiative, becomes assertive, and gives me this. Realistic open world RPG environment. Look at this, we have all these right here. And then it gives us the specific use cases. So it's gonna do this for basically everything. We have a racing game, and it mentions Monaco Grand Prix, in addition to Unreal Engine 5. Again, all very important key details and words that you'll definitely wanna use pertaining to a specific specific video game. We'll keep going. Fantasy battle scene, survival. Okay. And then right here, tips for refining prompts. And then it says right here, compared to the last of us part two, it gives us some very helpful information. Let me perhaps show you the most important part. So as an example, what if we have a particular video game that we have in mind that we really want to get images for? Well, that's what I'll show you what to say in this next step. All you have to do is say something very basic like this. Based on your video game, Fortnite, the game's characteristics, look of the screenshots, please craft some prompts for Fortnite style images. I love how it thinks out loud because it knows what Fortnite is. It knows that mentioning Unreal Engine might be relevant since Fortnite is built on Unreal Engine. 
Amazing. So basically by just name dropping a video game, it knows the specific styles I am going to need in my prompt. It's going to also mention character skins, in-game items, or promotional art. And then here is going to be perhaps the most important part. It gives us this information. I love how it gives me the Fortnite style prompt template, and it provides me with the core keywords to use. Anything from stylized Fortnite aesthetic, Okay, and then right here, trending on ArtStation, and again, here is Unreal Engine. Very important keywords that are going to work wonders when you're crafting these prompts. But now let's go ahead and look at the actual prompts that DeepSeek gave us. Fortnite Battle Royale scene, map location, Fortnite character skin. Then we have weapons and item designs. And then again, right down here, key tips to keep in mind from the color palettes, references, and adding motion. And then last but not least, if you want a specific theme, just let it know. But I did have one more video game off the top of my head, and now this is what I said next. I said the same thing, but this time I replaced Fortnite with the video game Call of Duty. The previous example for Fortnite used stylized and vibrant turns, but for COD, it's the opposite. That is gonna be so helpful because Deep Seek is going to distinguish the difference between the two actual video games. Okay, now we're back in my Mega Prompts database, specifically in my Free Pick tab. And so these next tips are all gonna work the same regardless of what sort of platform you're on, okay? So as I scroll down, let me first show you this one, okay? And I'll show you using a brand new model now available in Free Pick. Now, here is one of the important tips. This was created in Free Pick as well as these Sonic the Hedgehog ones. Now, I used the new model Imagine, that's Google's Imagine 3, and in Free Pick, it was able to give me these images. And then scrolling down, I was able to get the same exact ones in this middle row right here. So what's the one tip that we see over and over again? From these Fortnite style images right here, okay? And then again, to these Sonic the Hedgehog ones that looks so incredibly real. Now, this one was even made using Flux 1.1 Pro, so it's gonna work work wonders across the board. Here is the thing that is in common. Once you utilize a keyword strategy like this, it's going to work so well. I have IMG underscore 1546, and then I said style Nintendo Switch screenshot. Now, this number right here, these don't mean anything. The most important part is just to have the IMG underscore. You can enter in any number that you want. All it does is basically letting the model know you want it to look like a downloaded screenshot from a particular video game console. So using that same exact strategy, look at this image right here. And then we can see the same exact thing. Even when using it for a realistic looking image from a movie, look at this one right here with Avatar. This looks incredibly realistic, almost like the real thing from the movie itself. This one again. Again, different number, IMG underscore, and then sometimes if you put a period and then CR2 colon, it's going to make it even better sometimes. Okay. Let's go ahead and type in a few of these prompts, okay? Here is going to be the first one. We'll do one of Sonic the Hedgehog right here, and there we have it. We'll use Google Imagine 3, and now this time we're going to use Flux 1.1. Now, we could see Imagine is already done, and look how amazing this looks. This looks just like the video game Sonic the Hedgehog, and right above this one, look what Flux 1.1 gave us. Now, this looks even more realistic from the original old school game. Try the same exact prompt but this time in Leonardo AI specifically however utilizing flow state I'm gonna get like these illustrative ones even the drawing now a more realistic unreal engine style one and look how incredibly realistic some of these even look even a black on black style but as I scroll down that's one of the things I love so much about flow state is because it just gives you a little bit of everything, okay? So for an example, let's say I did like this one right here, standing in front of the controller. I'll select more like this. Now it's gonna give me way more just like this particular looking style. And look how good this actually turned out. Back into free pick. Now, utilizing Mystic 2.5, look at this. This is cool. Look at these crazy good looking images right here. Okay, this is pretty cool looking. Now, one other thing to keep in mind, since I am here already in, free pick. Look at this right here. Now this time, however, notice up in the top left, 
I am going to mention and tag my specific character, and that is gonna be L. That way, I'm gonna get character consistency, but this time, I'm gonna do it with my particular AI influencer. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. But still, look at these. Still pretty impressive how these actually turned out. This was Flux 1.0, okay? The row above it, utilizing Mystic 1.0, there is my AI influencer. It looks just like her. Character consistency, good job on that one. And now look at these right here. I got my combination of Mario with a Pokemon character. Amazing, look how these turned out. Look, and it even got the wording for Pokemon spelt correctly, which that is an impressive feat just by that alone. Okay, so to wrap it up, if we come back over here, I can quickly show you a few more important keywords that you can also use in your prompts. So for an example, I would always recommend using a combination of these words, screenshot, and then also UI design. Notice, if I utilize the word UI design in combination with the word screenshot, my images are gonna look like this, okay? Like a real video game is being played. And then I also use the same combination on this image right here. So you could see screenshot UI design is also in that one. In addition to this one right here, okay? Pretty amazing. And then again, we're gonna have these next two again, same exact combination of keywords, screenshot in combination with UI design will produce some very good looking results. And if you like this video, please remember to hit that subscribe button. But thank you so much for watching.